My first guest tonight wrote, produced, and stars in a new satire. Satire? Yeah, it's a satire. It's a, it's a movie that revolves the earth. Um, no, it's a satire. It's called War Inc. Please welcome John Cusack, everybody. John Cusack. <laughs> You don't need them. You don't need them. Only professionals use the questions. I'm an amateur. You're amongst friends here. It's all right. How are nice you? Nice to see you, my friend. Very nice to see you. How have you been? Pretty good. I'm, I'm absolutely uh, fascinated by this film of yours. It's very different to what, I, you know, what I've seen of you in in the last little while. It's a strange film. But this is a strange show, so it, this is a good mix. <laughs> and I'm a, big, I'm a big fan of the show and, I'm, I'm and a of you and, of, and really? what you've been doing on TV. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to go badly then. I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's only, there's only one way I'm going to, go. to disappoint you. No, it'll. Uh, well, oh, really? It'll be. It'll, it'll be okay. Do you know what? Because I've never met you before. Now, can I just tell you something? Sure. You're much taller than I thought you would be. Do a lot of people say that to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever met Tom Cruise? <laughs> I did. I have met him. <laughs> he's he's more petite than you might think. <laughs> like, uh, Craig, I think this is Tom. Where? Uh, yeah, he's, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're, you're a tall guy, too. I am very tall, yeah. But um, let's get back to Tom. But you actually, the gray, the gray on, on television comes out more. Right. You're not really kind of the salt and pepper integrity that I thought. No, 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 no. I don't, <laughs> I don't have that at all. I don't have it at all. But, but it's, it's, I want it's to talk to you like, a little bit. It's, it's more monochromatic here. In yes, yes, I, monochromatic. But I did see... No idea what he's talking about. I have no idea. You're not the only stupid person. I don't even know what monochromatic means. But it sounds great. In fact, your use of it was ineffable. <laughs> it sounds a bit like maybe a, um, maybe a, a disease of some sort. Correct. Like Epstein's Bar. Epstein's Bar. I used to, in New York, did you ever go there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, with the best Jewish bar in New York City, Epstein's Bar, where you could get a bagel and a pint of beer. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Now, listen, I want to talk to you about this movie because it's very weird. It's because I've seen you in a lot of romantic comedies, right, recently. Right. And this is, this, I mean, there's a little bit of love and stuff in it, but it's yeah. not a romantic comedy. Can it, do you mind if we show a little clip from the movie? I mean, presumably you won't. I don't at all. All right, can we just take a little, a little look at this? Song? I like killing people as much as the next guy, but I signed up to kill the bad ones. Health clinics, trade unionists, journalists, agricultural co-ops, Catholic liberation theologians, impoverished Colombian coffee farmers. These are the barbarians, the depraved opponents of civilization. We turn Central America into a graveyard. Thank you. Thank you. See? Now, now, see what we're looking at here? Is uh, you, uh, it's a very odd film because you're, well, tell the folks a little bit about the uh, about the, the what the premise of the film is. Talk it through. Well, the premise of the film is I play a kind of a mercenary, like one of these guys, hitman. Yeah, but yeah. you know, a guy who works for a big corporation that does a lot of things and is now taking over what the military used to do, which is happening right now. Right. Like this Blackwater Corporation. Right. But it's set in the future, but not really. Now, but I want to talk to you a little bit about this, because now, the, the, the politics of this movie, you're, you're a liberal uh, yourself, would I be accurate? Yeah, I don't that? like those sorts of names. Right. I guess, yeah, if they need to put you in a box. Oh, well, no, I don't I'm want a, to I'm a progressive. You. Not that you are, but, you know, everybody, if you're a liberal, that means you're this, and then we can... Right. Well, people get turned on. Like, now, Trotsky said, uh, who's not, a little more left yeah, than liberal. Yeah, he was so than, left yeah, yeah, that he yeah. became right. Right, the, but Trotsky was... Trotsky said, for capitalism to exist, there has to be a state of perpetual war. Do you think that's true? Uh, I think... Well, I like what he said. I think somebody said, in communism, man exploits his fellow man, and in capitalism, it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Trotsky also said, old age is the most unexpected thing that can ever happen to a person. But that was before he was hit in the back of the neck with an ice pick. Right. Had he survived that attack, yeah. I think he may have said, being hit on the back of the head with an ice pick yeah. is the most unexpected thing that could happen to a person. But I think, uh, um, I think that this sort of capitalism, which is sort of like a savage capitalism, right. which, which really, I mean, but that's kind of the thing about it is it's, they always talk about these guys come on television shows and they talk about their free markets and freedom and they need to do all these things. Mm. But they're not really free and they're, they're just kind of protected markets. So what they'll do is they create a new market with the war 
they go in and they make money in the, you know, the destruction and the reconstruction, and then they borrow the competitors, and then they, and then, then they and hire private companies at sort of a cost-plus basis to do things that the military and disaster relief, jails, interrogation, that are like the core functions of being a state. And then they come back on television and say, uh, be, they get evangelical about free markets. Do you think, so it's, do I you think, think the stench of lies is so intense at this point that your eyes water when you, I think, when you look I think at there it. may be a, I mean, I, I'm wondering if, if, if maybe what you're saying, and what I take from the film a little bit. And strange that the film is actually kind of funny. <laughs> no, no, it's funny. No, it's, it, it's very it funny. It's like very a, entertaining. It sounds like the Trotsky hour. No, no, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we like to do here. <laughs> It's hammer and sickle time! Get ding, ding, ding! Uh, but no, it's, uh, it, it's fascinating to me because I think that sometimes the word that capitalism and democracy are confused. You know, that, that, that perhaps uh, the, the uh, portrayal of capitalism and democracy being the same thing. I mean, Chicago in the 1920s was capitalism, but there was no effective rule of law. Right. And, and Russia, uh, Moscow in the 1990s, it was rampant capitalism, but no effective rule of law. And I think what, what I am fascinated by is that for capitalism to exist, there has to be effective rule of law, but you're saying that the effective rule of law is being corrupted by greed. Is that basically in the film? I think that's, that's basically what it's saying, but it's also saying that you know you, there has to be two sort of sets of standards. So you can't say that capitalism works. But then if you lost your, your house in the mortgage crisis, well, it's the free market. But then yeah. if you work at Bear Stearns, the government comes in and bails you out. So there's yeah, sort of yeah. two sort of sets of standards there, I think. Yeah, I'm confused. I am too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a break and we'll come back with it. Yeah, yeah. John Cusack, everybody, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with John Cusack. It, you know what's interesting? To me, this has become a little bit like a romantic comedy. At first you come out, we were talking very serious, then the commercials came along and we made out. We did. <laughs> now the breakup. Yeah, yeah. But we've all learned something. Yeah. Yeah! We learned that capitalism and democracy are not the same thing, are they, no. John? And, uh, well, and your, your movie, although very funny, deals with some very difficult... Well, but I feel it's also about, like, mercenaries, too. You're right. Right? Like, the guy who's uh, uh, running Blackwater right now, he said uh, he wanted to do, for the military, what FedEx did for the post office. So well, the guys... Could have a business? Well, yeah, but, but th yeah, th think about it. That's no, that's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So he, see, this guy's like, you know, he's comparing running a for-profit occupation to delivering the mail, and that's not a joke. Yeah. So that's kind of well, that fit so well with the show then, really. Man, well, man, 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 man. no, but sometimes, so in satire, sometimes you have to take you know stuff that's really rough, and right. you don't look at it through an absurd lens. You'd never get out of bed. Right. Yeah. But, um, but, but there you uh, are. Then. But now, now we've become like the you know what? McLaughlin group. <laughs> Yeah. We're just dour old men staring at each other. No. <laughs> it's, it, 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 that's what's happened. We, you know what we need we to had, do? We, a we need to comedy. get our groove back. Yeah, that's what that. We need to. You know what we need to do? Ice skating in Central Park. That's or, what we need to do. Or ice picks. No. In the back no, of the head. No, no. Leave the Trotsky thing aside. Oh, it's yeah. time for All love. Right. All right, love. No, it, it, what we'll do love's is. In the air. It, we ice skate in Central Park <laughs> and then meet each other on top of the Empire State Building at a certain time of year. See, see the worst part is, is that I might have made that movie. Ah, you did make that movie. Did I? Yeah, I think right. so. Okay. You made that movie where you were ice skating and she. I don't falls remember the Empire State, but. It, you know, well, no, I, I, no, it was, you had to meet her in. It was serendipity, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I've seen every movie you're in. I love you. Uh, sorry, I... Uh... <laughs> I <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding. I really have been a fan since I was a baby. No, I... No, I'm not. I, 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 it's fine. How are you doing? I'm, Your I'm sister's been good. here. She's very nice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see her much? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, when I... I thought in... you were in show business. You didn't no, like no, each other when anymore. I'm in Chicago. I go to see her. Do you go to Chicago a lot? Yeah. Because you're from there. Do you go uh, yeah. to see the sports? I go to see the uh, the sports. Stadiums. What sports do you go and see in Chicago? Well, I go to see the. Uh, do you know anything about American a little sports? tiny bit? Yeah, uh, you know, there's the uh, the Sox. You know They've got yeah, the, 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 the White Sox the baseball, and the yeah, baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go see the baseball. Yeah. I go see the basketball. Basketball. Yep. Yeah. Go see the football. Football. Yeah. It's all it's all balls with you, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, balls. <laughs> but a couple of pucks, you know, a couple hockey. Of, uh, you know, a puck hockey. and a couple of balls and you're set for life. <laughs> Bad on bum. I don't know why you don't have a band. You should have the guy. I know. The, I well, I've got the, one of these. The rim shot. Oh, that's right. You got the rim shot. Uh, hang on. There you are. We're done. 
John Cusack, everybody, we're Please welcome the lovely John Cusack, everybody. They're very excited to see you. Some of, the, some of these people have been riding the rails for a month to come and see you. <laughs> Sorry, now, I, my jacket's got caught. Uh, you, you might want to do this whole show on a boxcar. I would, I would be a guest on a boxcar uh, show. This is not a boxcar? <laughs> are, are we moving right now? Downhill, perhaps, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit. How are you, John? I'm very well. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you, uh, do you get in a hot tub in this movie? Are you actually in a hot tub in it? Do ladies see your chest? Hence the name Hot Tub. Time it's machine. a time machine and it's a hot tub? Yeah, that's right. This sounds pretty awesome to me. I think it's, um, I think it's kind of the most gloriously stupid name for a movie. <laughs> In history, I mean, it's so it's such a stupid name that it actually goes around the world and becomes a brilliant. Yeah, movie. no, it's got. Well, but I have you know, been. That's, and that's sort of what my thinking. Yeah, no, was. I know. It's it's like I used to say when I was drinking. I used to say I drank so much I drank myself sober. That's right. Yeah. Now, of course, that's impossible. No, it isn't. It's not impossible. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I drank myself sober a few times. But wait, the, wait. the movie actually drinks itself sober. No, no. Talk me through this. Drink yourself sober. Um, malarkey. I think, you know, don't you remember when you, you sort of hit a plateau of... of yeah, um, rehab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I suppose that was it. There you go. I, yeah, I, yeah, I drank myself into rehab, therefore right. I drank myself sober. Oh, right. I see, yeah. I wasn't looking at the big picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're, well, I, I sort of feel like I need a pillow. You're, you're sort of higher than me. Really? Yeah, yeah. All right, here. Can uh, I have one of these? Yeah, here's, just an, here's a pillow. Thanks. Yeah. Here's a... <laughs> Good. I feel like when you're looking at me like this, I feel I should tell you all my secrets. You should. I don't really have any secrets, though. What is, uh, that's a bizarre mug. It's, it's my cup here. It's, uh, I got it from uh, Mary McCormack. It's from the Albuquerque Rattlesnake Museum. It's a hollowed out rattlesnake. <laughs> you, you can't have it. I can see you looking at it with your give it to me, I'm famous eyes, but you don't get it. <laughs> Not gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. Come on, man, I'm famous. Give it to me. No! Hey! <laughs> Hands off, mister. Dinner first. I think it might be. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a beverage for you around there. I wouldn't well, have I you without a beverage. Yeah. All right. But look yeah. at my mug. This is like. Um, it's yeah, but it's to make your hands look big. That's true. <laughs> big, big and white. Big, big white hands. You know what that says about you? Yes, it does. <laughs> You know, if in doubt, just... It might uh, be time for an awkward pause. You want to do one? Yeah. You want to do an awkward pause? We do do them here. I'd like to. Well, we don't normally do them in the middle, but if you want. <laughs> All right, well, we better get started then. <clears throat> Can I have some of that hand sanitizer? During the pause? You want the hand sanitizer? <laughs> so, let me just get this. You're doing an awkward pause with a prop? Yeah.
If I can get a word in edgeways. <laughs> so, you uh, just bought a house? Yeah. Did you really? No. No, no. no. <laughs> I was going to say, that's kind of a talk show thing to go, oh, I just bought a house. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, but, but you didn't. None, none of these people here have houses. <laughs> They're homos. That's part of the job description. Yeah. I, you know, I address, that... don't have one. Fine. Well, is, is the awkward pause over? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is now just the awkward conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah. no the, we, I think we've moved on. Yeah, all right, that was, yeah. enjoy I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, thanks very much. Well, I'm... don't do another one. I can feel you doing another one right now. I sort of enjoyed it so much. I, I like it too. Yeah, I yeah, must yeah, admit, yeah. I do enjoy an awkward pause. I was kind of brought up that way. Yeah, yeah. Me yeah the too. Kuzak's an Irish name, isn't it? You're yeah. probably probably oh, yeah. a lot of awkward the entire, pauses. Everything, yeah. the entire everything, the entire dinner table's awkward pauses. Yeah, over. yeah. Especially the holidays. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially the day after the holidays, because the, the, the holiday one is the day you get drunk, and then the day after you kind of go, oh, you don't want to talk about what happened. That's right. Now you are you from a big family? Big yeah, yeah, family? yeah. Huge family. How many? Four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I went for two, obviously, a round number there, didn't I? If yeah, I yeah. said a small number. No, six. Yeah. Six. Six, six mm. family? Yeah. Mm. How, about, how about you? Five. Oh, really? Three six sisters. is better than five, isn't it? By one. By one. Yeah. Or if you're going in the other way, like if it was top movies, then one would be best and six wouldn't be as good. No, no. But yeah. you know, the long term, you never know, right? There you never a... know in the long term. Right? That's. <laughs> hey, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I know, I can't stop it. I don't stop know. Stop knocking off! I, I sort of. Yeah. I sort of feel like. They're addictive, aren't they? They're very addictive, the awkward pause. I know, they really are, because I feel like I sort of want to go into a time machine to go back to the end of the awkward pause and then restart the conversation without any awkward pauses. Like, if I could, take, if I could just take three minutes back in time, I think I could do a better segment here. Well, we, we could, you, you, I could take a commercial break and we'd do another one, but uh, on one condition. No. No awkward pauses. No. You promise? Freaking pauses. No. Oh, no, 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 please, by all means, cuss. Just don't, uh, no, don't, no, don't, no. Oh, sorry, I forgot. What if I the, say you can, then you can't. What are the, what are the words that you can't say? Ooh, la, la. You can't say that. Uh, <laughs> what about, uh, can you say, like, um, you know, you can say bastard? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Can you say, uh, whore? <laughs> Check on that one. Okay. We'll, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with John Cusack, everybody. All right, yeah, no, I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with John Cusack. You got a movie coming out on Friday, don't you? Yeah. So do I. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Bring it on, girl. Let's see how much. Let's see how much time you spend talking about your movie, or how much time you're talking about. I'm my very movie. comfortable in the. It's not my movie anyway. I'm just in it. Your uh, your movie. I mean, you I, did you did you write this movie or anything? No, no, no. I, I I was one of the producers on it. Well, then 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 it's your movie. Whereas I technically am, you know, a voice in the movie. Are you the dragon? No, I'm not the dragon. Although I liked that movie when Sean Connery was a dragon. <laughs> Remember when Sean Connery was like, I can't believe I'm a dragon, I'm sure. Sean. <laughs> yeah. How would that be if he was in Hot Tub Time Machine, Sean Connery? I can't believe I'm in a Hot Tub Time Machine. <laughs> is, might... is he in Hot Tub Time Machine? He might be. I haven't... You're you know, just I saying don't... that to beat my movie by pretending <laughs> Sean Connery's in it. No, we have Rob, Rob Corddry. Yeah, who's good, but not Sean Connery. Craig Robinson, who's also, also good, good, but not, not Sean, Sean Connery. Connery yeah. And Clark Duke, who's also good. But not Sean Connery. And you, who, yeah. who are who, great. I'm good, but, but I'm not Sean Connery. You're not Sean Connery. No. Are you a fan of Sean Connery? I am, actually. Me too. Yeah. Do you play golf? No. I mean, badly. 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 I don't even try. You, have you tried? But you, you just... Well, I've tried a little bit. I'm Scottish. You just suck. <laughs> I'm just bad at it. I'm just yeah. bad at golf. Are you good at anything, uh, sporty-wise? <laughs> <laughs> I would say, uh, I would say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good boxer. Boxer? Yeah. I suddenly have gained a whole new respect and have to change my underpants. <laughs> Are you a boxer? Really? Yeah. You like to box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. That's yeah. good. But actual people? 
Yeah, humans. You box other humans, yeah. not kangaroos? I thought no, you boxed no, no, no. kangaroos. Have you ever tried to box a kangaroo? Would you box a kangaroo? No. They go back on the tails and they have huge three-pronged claws that would rip a man's guts out. Wearing gloves, though. They're wearing gloves. They're wearing boxing gloves. Yeah, but they're wild animals, man. You could be... You could be savaged. All right, what about a, a tame kangaroo, then? A tame, drugged kangaroo. Would you, would you box a tame, drugged kangaroo? I would do... Um, I would do probably a, um, a, a drunken warthog. <laughs> There's something, something small. Wait, 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 you just said you would do a drunken walk. <laughs> now, now you're obviously and very cynically playing the hobo crowd. You know, if that doesn't get the ladies into the theatre for Hot Tub Time Machine... Yeah, no, I... I, I think, know. listen, I don't you know get people will. into the theatre for Hot Tub Time Machine, but the story of a young man and, you know, fighting against dragons and stuff, it's not the same audience as the Hot Tub Time Machine audience, no? I don't think. No. What is your rating for your movie? Uh, would be sort of a... I think it's actually uh, an R. An R? See, I'm a G. It's so... A, <laughs> mine's an R that wants to be a PG-13 for the to get more audience, but right. it's really an R. All right, and mine's a G because it's, you know, awesome. But don't... <laughs> But sneak that in there, sneak that in. That was just kind of sneaky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Doesn't the, don't the dragons sort of kill people and there's, no, there's no, no, tragic no, the, tears? No. And... Well, you know, stuff happens, but in the end, you know, good triumphs and everybody learns them. Is Can that... you say the same for Hot Tub Time <laughs> No, and at the end of top, Hot Tub Time Machine, I think you find out that um, <laughs> the 80s are, 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 are not worth revisiting. Uh, <laughs> except... Except in a very, very broad black comedy, uh, or un un unless you're probably on psilocybin or some sort of drugs. I, uh, Did I, you enjoy the 80s? I believe what some of them. What were you doing them. in the 80s? Depends on who you ask. Uh, I, I mean, I was drinking a lot in the 80s. I, I did most of my drinking in the 80s. I, started, I went out to have a drink, 1979, and I went to rehab, 92. In between... <laughs> So this could be like a very informative time at Actually, the movies for you because I'm you can find out what happened. I'm going to go and see your movie this Friday because I've already seen the movie that I'm in. Now, yeah, yeah. you could probably go and see my movie this Friday because my guess is you've seen... And what's the name of that film? What, the movie I'm in? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't plug How to Train Your Dragon by DreamWorks. That wouldn't be ethical. <laughs> Thanks, man. I think we're falling but into another But you've been in a ton of movies. Pause. I've only been in like four. Give me a one, man. You're in all good movies and... Uh, have a career and everything. I'm stuck in this box car talking to hobos. Give me one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think you're right. We gotta go now. We gotta go. You wanna finish up on a pause? Because you seem to enjoy the, the first one. It'll have to be short, though. Uh, we don't have time for a long pause. Just a quick... I'm already I doing know, it. I know, I know. I realised that just as I was doing it. I realised, oh my God, he's already started the pause. <laughs> Have a movie star and me just a tramp. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh, right. Okay, John Cusack, everybody. <laughs> yes, then at least you have the tape. Mm. You should speak to them. I should. Is it Cusack I have to talk to? <laughs> no, he's not the director. He's an actor. How does it work? I thought the actor did that. The, no, act the no? actor's in the movie, oh. and then there's a director, James McTeague, who makes McTeague. every... McTeague? <laughs> yeah, McTeague. My sworn enemy, McTeague. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Australian. He's an Australian? <laughs> I knew that.